Hey guys, welcome back to another reference video, this time on the brand new Space Jam trailer. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll put the link in the description because there's a lot to go over in such a short video. I'm going to be doing this for all the trailers that will be dropping over the next few weeks, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get straight to this video. Basketball camp is next weekend. You got amazing potential on the court. And I can help you get there. So already we see a ton of hidden easter eggs in these first few shots. Firstly, we see LeBron's kid playing some sort of basketball game on his xCloud. And as we can see by the miniature characters, they're a lot like the animated LeBron we see later on. Meaning that somewhere along the line, I think LeBron's kid is going to get sucked into this game for LeBron to rescue him. Another easily missed detail is the hidden cartoon references they sneak into the background. Like Marvin the Martian and Dot Warner in the background here. You never let me just do me. I bet Will Smith ain't got to deal with this. Down. This scene gives us even more plot, as when LeBron walks past the servers that his son falls into, we can see that one of the servers is marked Warner 3000. That is a reference to the production company Warner Bros. Studio, which produced this movie and all the Looney Tunes shows, as well as a million other characters they have the rights to. Just to name a few, they own the rights to the entire Harry Potter series, the entire Justice League characters and villains. Godzilla and King Kong, Sherlock Holmes, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Clockwork Orange, Game of Thrones, It, Scooby-Doo, thousands of old cartoons, the Lego movie, the Matrix, Pokemon movie, Pacific Rim, The Hobbit, and more, all of which make short cameos later on in this movie. Welcome to the... Welcome, King James. I am the king of this domain. This is the Serververse. As LeBron is catapulted through the universe, we can see him pass by a ton of worlds from other Warner Bros. planets. Each of them represents a different type of franchise or style of movie. This is a slight change from the original Space Jam, where every planet was a reference to some sort of basketball punt, like Jam Central or B-Ball Planet. Instead, this movie starts to establish the Warner Bros. multiverse. Firstly, he passes by the iconic Game of Thrones world from their intro, including Westeros and the classic Game of Thrones shield. In this next shot, we see a reference to some of their older work with an old fashioned black and white world in the back left before he's launched into the Wizard of Oz planet as he passes by the Emerald City and then transitions into the iconic tornado and witch scene. Finally, we see the Matrix world here with their logo at the bottom. It's a little hard to see, but later on we can clearly see it in the back of another shot. So, this is the Matrix world. Finally, we are introduced to the villain Don Cheadle, who is the owner of the server and equivalent of Swack Hammer in the original Space Jam. I told you a thousand, 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 thousand times! We need new attractions! What'd you do to my son? Where's Don? The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. Pete, send this clown to the rejects. Wait! Here when choosing where to launch LeBron, we can see him scrolling past even more easter eggs from the Warner Bros franchises, including Orbit City from the Jetsons, Hogwarts from Harry Potter, Themyscira which is Wonder Woman's home planet, Thundera from Thundercats, Gotham from Batman, and Westeros from Game of Thrones. He also scrolls past other places such as Neptune, Bedrock, Saturn, Albuquerque, Mercury, and Mars before eventually landing on Toon World. Which Domain calls the Rejects, which gives us a little more plot as it explains that the Looney Tunes are not taken seriously in this giant world of superheroes and wizards, beginning the underdog story. What is this? Ah! <sighs> I'm a cartoon? Meep. Watch up, Doc. As he comes crashing down, we see the iconic Looney Tunes world, along with a classic red circle from the intro. We can also see LeBron turn into the form of a Looney Tunes animation. I will say that I've seen a lot of people upset about LeBron being animated, but given from what I've seen, I think that's more of a temporary bit rather than something that's going to be happening for most of the movie. Yet again, in two quick shots, we see references to other Warner Bros. worlds, including the Maltese Falcon world, as well as the cities of Gotham and Metropolis, with the iconic bat signal in the air. I need to assemble an elite team to help give my son back. I know what you're looking for. Here we see even more references in the members that LeBron wanted to join his team, including Superman, Gandalf, King Kong, and the Iron Giant, many of whom you'll see later on in this video. But as the story goes, they probably won't play for him, and instead the characters that form the Toon Squad will have to play it. Now this could also be a reference to LeBron always trying to build super teams, but I could be reaching with that one. Dream team. Bam! Shoot the ball! 
Let's try that again, shall Here we finally see most of the Toon Squad, many of whom are brought back from the original Space Jam, with the addition of Gossamer, the big red monster, and this time removing Pepe Le Pew, that super creepy, rapey skunk. Please? King James. In this insane blink and you miss it sequence, we can see a ton of easter eggs in the background. I'm going to go through all of them that I could see. Firstly, we see the Martian's rocket crash to the side, and the Eiffel Tower in the far back, near the court where the game is being played. We can also see LeBron wearing his I Promise School wristbands from his famous charity in this scene. Finally, we see a ton of characters from the Warner Bros. universe chilling in the background. We can see the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine along with what looks like a Spartan from the 300 movies. We can also see the Iron Giant and the Dragon from Game of Thrones flying above. We also see a ton of the old OG cartoons, including Magilla Gorilla on the tightrope to the left, the Flintstones driving down the middle, Yogi Bear running down the middle, Jabba Jab bouncing to the right, and Captain Caveman flying overhead at all. Also in the far back, we can actually see LeBron's character in the movie Smallfoot, as well as the obvious King Kong reference. <laughs> Finally, in this quick Don Cheadle shot, we can also see Pennywise the Clown from It, the Flying Monkeys from Wizard of Oz, and the Wicked Witch of the West. Cal Drogo from Game of Thrones, Agent from The Matrix, and maybe Blade behind him, just a ton of characters thrown together. Introducing the Goon Squad! So here we finally see the monsters for this movie, or in this case, the Goon Squad. For those of you who don't know the story of Space Jam, the monsters are aliens who steal the power of NBA players to form a super team. We see the flying unibar monsters clearly Anthony Davis, the snake and spider monsters are the Ogumukai twins from the WNBA, and the dribbling monster is Damian Lillard. For the fire and water monsters, I'm not entirely sure which is which, as one of them has to be Clay Thompson and the other one Draymond Green. I'm guessing the water one is Clay because he's a splash brother while Draymond has more of a fiery personality, but I cannot be entirely sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but overall, that's the goon squad. You gotta win this game. Let's end this. Got you, Kron. And get our son back. This scene is an easily misreference to the iconic D Wade and LeBron photo, which Lola Bunny is copying. <laughs> Classic. Also, throughout this entire sequence, there are a ton of other Warner Bros. characters sitting courtside. We can see the old school Batman characters including Robin, the Joker, and the Goons. At the top we can see a reference to Gloop and Gleep from the Herculoids chilling in the grass. We see more Batman references with the Penguin chilling with the Agent, the Flying Monkeys, and Don Cheadle. We can also see a Casablanca reference along with the famous Warner Bros. water tower to the right. In this shot, we can see a small reference to the 1966 cartoon Space Ghost. When LeBron gets knocked out, we see Jim Carrey's The Mask in his yellow suit and green face sitting courtside with what looks like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Finally, in this dribbling shot, we see some knights, the crazy people from Mad Max, the droogs from Clockwork Orange, the Night King from Game of Thrones, Dino from the Flintstones, another reference to Scooby-Doo, the small outlines of the Animaniacs, and finally the characters from Thundercats. I'm not entirely sure how big of a role all these characters will play other than just being an entertaining audience, but it seems that Space Jam is laying the groundwork for a huge multiverse movie down the line. Whoa. Anyway, that's all the easter eggs I managed to find through watching the trailer. I'm sure there are a few hidden somewhere that I haven't seen. For example, I saw this building that I wasn't entirely sure where it was from. If one of the comments could let me know, I'll make sure to pin it. Also let me know, what do you guys think of this movie? Are you guys excited for it or is it going to be a disappointment? I personally like that LeBron is trying something new. You cannot make a shot for shot remake of a classic and expect people to like it more. I appreciate how LeBron is trying his own twist on an old classic. But let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.